Salut și bine v-am găsit la un nou joc De data asta o să jucăm uh, Un uh, RTS gen uh, Age of Empires 4 Am uh, făcut Pe comunitate un uh, Poll cu voturi Și am zis Să votați care ați vrut să votați Și care sunteți încă activi aici uh, Jocuri RTS Cum ar fi Supreme Commander, Age of Empires Chestii din astea Versus uh, simulatoare Și ați ales să joc RTS O să jucăm uh, povestea Să vedem cum e Și poate după aia mai facem niște skirmish, battle Și Na, în rest, sper să vă placă Dacă vă place desigur, lăsați acolo un like Și să vă abonați canalului Aș aprecia foarte mult Și să-i dăm drumul la treabă, nu? O să mai cer pe prima misiune Bă, bă cu Normandia se vede În 1066 Bă, că avem patru opțiuni Ne arată un video După aia trebuie să completez o chestie Bă, na Bă, Îmi place genul ăsta de jocuri Deci mulțumesc că ați ales Care ați ales și care ați votat Și desigur God of War o să vină și el Să-l terminăm și pe ăla Și ce vreau să vă mai zic că Desigur că o să vină și Simulatoare dacă e ceva în viitorul ce urmează Să dăm start mission A, Nu știu, o să dau E easy pentru că n-am jucat niciodată jocul ăsta Așa că Hai să vedem cum e Poate putem să schimb Aia Some oh. events leave a deep mark on history hmm. But none on the land This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor was the throne. I was by a computerization conquest. Background real. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. Hey. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile. Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another threat to his crown, so he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the Channel to England. The weather cleared. And Chief Basil Mistoma had to take his chance. Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs. England itself. Some fish to bite. The battle of Hastings. Ah, loading. Nice. Yeah, what's up there? Oh, oh, oh. On October. Este. 
Mom. Bitch, okay. Yeah, I'm just a bitch. Fuck, I'll die. Williams Norman Army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Okay. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Okay. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William oh. could pick them off as they charged. had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders but William had an answer his sharp-eyed archers Arms reinforced William's army. Norman archers joined the battle. Ah. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Oh, 
Oh wow. Oh. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. More Norman cavalrymen took to the field. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Harold, what's up, Colonel Navek? Ada, what can we still get? Okay. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. Come on, victory, come on. Ah, hey, ah, they just lost. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course. I said, I'm skipping. He's still like no. Oh, interesting. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. Okay. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back by force. Service on Ordonnance! Avez-vous à 
Okay. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Okay, build up your army. Am pus să duc după lemnul. A spus că e un video din locul ăsta. Nu vă dau pe Escoltes, colones. Escolto. Edifico. Entendo. Laborons la terre. Comprendo. Edifico. Se aude bine, nu se aude prea tare, că așa, dar pe mă video e mai așa. Dă-i, 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 dă Bun, și încă două case. Mai trebuie pe aici. Masonul. 
trebui să iau și lambda Mei? Ce chestie are și pe in, ca s-a dat, a făcut tot. Ce știu. Aici adună la mine trei sute, de la aia. Ce chestie are și pe in, ca s-a dat, a făcut tot. Ce știu. Aici adună la mine trei sute, de la aia. To keep the army at full strength. They enforce. I'm sure. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Ah, mi l-am morut pe ala. Dar cred că atât pentru acest prim video cu Age of Empires 4. Sper că v-a plăcut de sigur dacă v-a plăcut. Lăsați acolo un like și să vă abonați canalului și noi ne auzim sigur data viitoare. Salut!